This fire on Anderson Street in East Charlotte is one of multiple Amanda's accused of setting around the Charlotte area. Yeah, this map shows you where some of those fires were. You can see the red spots, each marking at least one scene. Some of those scenes dating back as far as 2006, and Raymond Curtin is accused of starting them all. Channel Line's Jonathan Lowe is live off Anderson Street tonight, where one of those latest fires happened. And Jonathan, that suspect is facing dozens of charges tonight. I first told you about this yesterday at 7. The homeowner telling me that she believes the fire that destroyed this home was the result of a dispute over unpaid rent. Well, since then, I've obtained eight different police reports for arson fires. Sources tell us are all connected to Raymond Curitan. These are burn scars from one of 10 fires investigators believe 55-year-old Raymond Curitan set intentionally. That's where, where, where he set the fire at. We obtained the police report showing back in September 2021, Curitan is accused of breaking into this home on Coburg Avenue in East Charlotte and setting a fire. He took gas in and he just slung gas over there. Then he did it over here the same way. One of Curitan's roommates at the time still lives here. He asked we not show his face or use his name. I was pretty mad because it could have been me sitting upstairs because my, my room was upstairs. Channel 9 told you yesterday CMPD arrested Curitan earlier this week. They initially connected him to this fire back in September on Anderson Street, just off the plaza, and another the same day on North Davidson Street, where a city trash can and the inside of a car in this parking lot were set on fire. I know that was him because I'll never forget no faces. But Curitan is accused of arson fires dating back to 2006, including rooms inside a now closed hotel on South Tryon Street, former businesses along Wilkinson Boulevard and dumpsters in various locations. This former roommate says he always felt he needed to be on guard around Curitan. I told my roommate, I was like, it's time for him to get up out of here because he kept on getting a bunch of stuff and threatened. Two years later, they finally have erased most of the reminders of how dangerous things got. We was out of furniture for like huh, almost a year. And then we had the smell in here because we've been using all, I've been using all kinds of stuff to wipe that, that smut down. Now, the police reports for all of these cases so far say that the damage or the burned property is worth about $416,000 in total. But Charlotte Fire investigators, they will make the final determination on damage costs. In all of these cases that we know of so far, thankfully, no injuries have been reported. We're live in East Charlotte tonight. Jonathan Lowe, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.